Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com. And today I'm making honey butter bourbon shrimp, a quick and easy appetizer your guests are going to love. Let me show you how to make it. We need some garlic and shallots for this. So I'll start by slicing my garlic thin, then dicing it down into bits from there. Next is the finely diced shallot, which I'll slice into thin rings. Then I'll take a minute or two to dice it down into smaller bits from there. And here's the shrimp I'm using. I use the large, raw, easy peel, deveined shrimp. So first I'll put them in a bowl and we're going to start by removing the tails. Gently hold on to the tail, give it a little pinch, then pull it off without pulling off the meat in the tail. Then peel the rest of the shell off. And I bought deveined shrimp so that black strip that is normally there has been removed. Just continue with the pinch, pull, and peel method until all the shrimp are finished. And I've got mine lined up on a small sheet pan and ready to season. In total, there were 30 shrimp in the bag that I bought. We want to be careful with the salt here. For 30 shrimp, I found a half a teaspoon of salt was the perfect amount. Then we'll give it some fresh pepper as well. Then a very light dusting of paprika. And now we're ready to fry the shrimp. I've melted some butter in a small pot for the sauce. And I'm going to add a little bit of honey to that. Also some bourbon, any kind is fine. I'm using Jim Beam. So we're gonna add that in with the sauce. Then we're gonna give it a stir and let that sit on low heat while we cook the shrimp. So I've got some canola oil heating in my shrimp pan and I'm gonna add all the shrimp right in there. Then you just wanna spread them out a bit and let them cook for a couple of minutes. Next, we'll give the pan a shake to turn the shrimp and have your kitchen tongs ready here to manually turn the pieces as well. We're gonna cook the shrimp another minute or so, and then we're going to add our finely diced shallots, a couple more splashes of bourbon, just enough to fog my camera temporarily. Then we'll stir that shrimp around and you'll see the alcohol has absorbed some and cooked off some too. After that, we're going to add our garlic right to the middle of our pan. And then we'll incorporate that in with the shrimp and give it a good mix around for another minute or so. Then we'll take all the shrimp and add it to a large bowl. I poured about half my honey butter bourbon sauce in, gave it a mix. Then I did add one more splash of bourbon, mixed it once more, and I couldn't wait another second to eat the bite. And it was delicious. The honey, the butter, the bourbon, it's a really great combo. You can transfer the shrimp to a plate, and I gave mine a little garnish with some red pepper flakes and parsley I already had on hand. Let's take a closer look. This is an awesome pre-dinner finger food idea when you're having a group of people over. And bonus, you can also serve some crusty bread on the side to dip in that extra honey butter bourbon sauce. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, you'll find this and all the printable recipes on my website at eatthebite.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Actually, I need to set this all aside while I peel the shrimp. Um, was my pencil on the cutting board the whole time? Oh god, okay.